<laughs> let's go. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm letting you loose, man. This is like, you know, Brock Lesnar just showed up. Go. Oh, Clean it's, house. Oh, bro. It's going to be so good. It's so good that I actually. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, there we go. College football playoff is garbage. If you did not know this, then you have been living under a rock because this is the only sport in all North American sports that literally is able to screw over all the teams simultaneously that play in this league because we're going to do a little bit of a math lesson. And if you have not done math today, guess what? You're doing it now because it's great to work your brain and start your day. So we're going to start it from the top with all of North American sports how many teams they have, how many teams make playoffs, and the percentage of those teams versus the total team. So let's look at this. NBA, you have 30 teams in the NBA, 16 make playoffs, and there's always top four in the championship. 53.3% of the teams make playoffs. That's pretty fair, right? That sounds good, right? Let's go ahead. Let's move on down. Not bad. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. That's I mean, NHL. It's always, it's always LeBron, but hey. Oh, yeah, you know, well, it is what it is. But NHL, 31 teams. 16 playoff teams, and probably still the best playoffs that you can see, 51.6% of the teams in the NHL make the playoffs. That's pretty crazy, but awesome. You get a lot of great playoff hockey. I tell you, NHL, some of the best playoffs you can get. Let's look at what we got going on right now. The NFL, 32 teams, 14 teams make the playoffs. That's a 43.8% clip, okay? Even though that the NFL tries to screw over all their teams also with playing on Thursdays and giving them short weeks and stuff. But, you know, <laughs> they just don't want the money. So Who that's all that? they care about. What? 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 Who said that? What? So 43.8% of the teams in the NFL make the playoffs. Okay? Not too shabby. You want to keep it elite. Let's go ahead and move it down a step further. Major League Baseball. 30 teams. 10 make the playoffs. 33.3%. A third of the league makes the playoffs. That's not bad in my eyes. That seems pretty fair given the kind of teams you have in there. But you know what? We can't get a full scope just looking at pro sports. Let's go ahead. We're going to kick it up a notch, and we're going to look at college athletics, starting with D1 college baseball. Now, if you know anything about college baseball, there is a bunch of teams in college baseball to the tune of 297 teams that play D1 college baseball and are always trying to make the march to Omaha. But 64 of those teams make the playoffs, 21.6%. All right, everybody keep it up right now. We're at 21.6%, okay? So almost a quarter of college baseball makes the playoffs. Let's go ahead. Let's look at our favorite one, March Madness, D1 college basketball. 351 teams are in D1 college basketball that are always playing for March in the greatest tournament there is. 68 of those teams, though, are the ones that make that tournament, not including the NIT tournament that happens. That's basically, you know, your subset. Hey, we didn't make the tournament, but here's this other tournament so we can feel good about ourselves tournament. It's that kind of tournament. But still, that's 19.4%. 19.4% of all college basketball teams make the tournament. Okay, well, now we're getting a leap. Let's go ahead and kick it up another notch. FCS College Football, formerly D2, for those who've been around long enough to know what that is, 127 teams play in, in FCS football. 24 of those teams make the playoff, 18.9%. Okay, now before we get to what is currently FBS College Football, also formerly known as D1 Football, we got to do a little quick recap. So our lowest number that we saw here was FCS Football at 18.9%. That's 18.9% of their total teams that make the playoffs. Now, who's ready to have their mind blown? Let's go ahead. Show of hands. Who's ready to have their mind blown? I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Ready? All right. Let's so, go. FBS football. Let's go. Throw it down. FBS college football, formerly Division I football, the greatest and best and top tier of college football, has 130 teams, only three more than FCS. Yet, only four teams make the playoff. That is a three. 0.1% rate of teams that you have total that make the playoffs. How in the world is that fair or makes sense in any kind of way whatsoever that isn't money related? Please try and explain that one to me it's in CAA. All, it's all money related, boys. It's all money related. It's about the Tostitos Bowl. It's about the Chicken Wing Bowl. It's about the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl, the Backyard Bowl, mm -hmm. the Bills Mafia Bowl. Oh, but wait. The Final the Score Bowl, Bowl coming soon. Hey. 
Come and see hey, it. Hey, why not? I'll take it. I'd it's take a it bowl too. Game, I'll take it. <laughs> but the so. big thing I see is that you've seen every year the number of bowl games increase to try and give everybody that postseason feel. The NCAA wants to argue that we want to put emphasis on the regular season and know that every game counts. Well, don't we boast the same thing in college basketball, yet you still play in a conference championship tournament and then turn around and play in the, oh, yeah, national championship tournament called March Madness? Interesting. Now, let's go ahead and look at this from another perspective, and this is one that I think no one really looks at. Now, people always say, well, FCS is not FBS, okay? There's bigger teams with bigger fan bases, with more money and better players. Okay, but guess what? This is college athletics regardless. And the FCS still deals with the same academic and athletic deadlines, rules, protocols, and everything that every FBS team does. And, oh, let's not forget that the FBS and FCS are both run by the NCAA. So please try and tell me how there is any way whatsoever that there isn't a way we could institute a more than four-team playoff in FBS. There's no argument other than, oh, we like making money because, you know, it puts emphasis on all of our games. That's cool. You can still put emphasis on all of your games having a legitimate playoff. Okay. Bowl games and sponsorships, man. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And you want to take it a step further and look at it. Let's not forget that the current college football playoff format was, was instituted less than 10 years ago. And before that, it was the BCS, which means you only had two teams, two teams out of 130 teams, which at that point, actually, I think was 100 and actually 127. But still, the math doesn't add up. And you're telling me that this is legitimate, that this is the best way to crown your champion every year, year in and year out, knowing that the best teams are getting that shot? Bullshit. And that's what I say. Bullshit. Because there's no reason outside of money that this is happening. There's no reason outside of money that the college football playoff couldn't be expanded. No non-Power 5 team has ever qualified for the college football playoff. And we had two, not even one, but two. Non-Power 5 teams go undefeated this season in Coastal Carolina and in Cincinnati. And Cincinnati was top 10. So, I mean, where is the actual proof or reasoning to show that this is okay? There is none. And that's why I'm calling out the NCAA at this point. I'm calling out the NCAA. I'm calling out the college football playoff subcommittee and the playoff itself. It is a sham. And if you think that this is fair, then you are blind because this is literally set up as a cash cow to make the NCAA and all these universities billions of dollars while they steal money from these kids that are putting their lives and their bodies on the line for these schools, for these athletic programs, and for these rich old fuckers sitting in their offices thinking that they have any kind of reason whatsoever to keep this as the status quo. It is garbage, NCAA. Complete it is garbage. garbage. I, I, let me I, and let me add to that real quick because there's a great point that you just mentioned there, bud. And that is, yeah, it's a huge cash cow. And what is the NCA now going to do to silence a few things? Oh, now we're going to start entertaining the concept of paying our college athletes now mm-hmm. and, and give them a siphon do that not, won't exceed ten grand. <laughs> right. Do not be fooled. This is only to silence the crowd mm-hmm. just enough over the bigger problem that it is. Yep. This should have happened 10 plus freaking years ago. Yep. All right. The, the being paid and being able to use your name and your likeness for mm. the good of the community, which, which majority of the athletes wanted to do. They wanted to say, Hey, if you pay me a thousand dollars, I'll come to your charity event and sign autographs. Oh, How like is that athletes? a bad thing? Yeah, like normal athletes. How is that a bad thing? It's, you know, or yeah, I just borrowed somebody's suit so I could make it to some kid's uh, wedding that he invited me to, you know, mm-hmm. to for to do something fun. That player got, you know, suspended for well, I don't know how many games. Oh. There's so many stories like that. The UCF kicker who had his own YouTube channel, who was trying to create his own independent content that had nothing to do with him being a UCF football player or a kicker or football Yet the NCAA told him he couldn't have it and he had to choose. You know what he said? He said, forget you, NCAA. I'll keep my channel. There you go. He said, bye back. Good for him. I'm glad he did. But d- don't get it twisted and do not, you know, have the wool cover your eyes. They're paying the NCAA players right now because they are still getting billions of dollars 
off of these kids with all these damn bowl games mm-hmm. and all that bull crap. What is, what do the bowl games do? They do nothing. They They're do nothing to your stock as a university. Mm-hmm. I mean, you you go to a bowl game and you win the bowl game. It's actually more important trophy. that you beat your rival. Yeah, you get a ba- bullshit trophy. <laughs> I know, won the like, Mighty oh, Key Car Care long. Bowl. You know, like, who cares? I don't care that you won the Mighty Key Car Care Bowl. Did they service your tires while you did it, too? Like, come on. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't feel happy about that. If I'm not winning a national, that's why I, I think I like being a fan of Notre Dame. We don't we don't care about the little dinky bulls. We're not winning a national title. It doesn't matter. And that's how every team should be approaching it, honestly. Unless you're in a conference. Yeah, win your conference title, too. But guess what? Win titles, bro. Get rings. Make yourself known that you're the best. But you can't do that when you're pulling this kind of garbage and really making the system game to the programs that have the most money, that have the biggest followings, that are going to bring you in the TV ratings. Why do you think we end up with Clemson, Ohio State instead of Clemson, Notre Dame, part three? Because of ratings. We already saw Notre Dame, Clemson twice. Nobody wants to see that again. And that's what I'm saying. The whole thing is rigged to not only uh, make it think that these players are doing something, to make it think that these players are getting compensated, to make it think that these players are being able to give a fair shot and opportunity, when in reality, this is all just a cash system made to make people richer. And that's all it is. And that's all college football has become. Because what other reason do you have such a disparity in your own playoff? Why have disparity mm-hmm. in your playoff? You know what I mean? Status other than quo. money. When exactly. the status quo benefits you, you don't want to let it go. Exactly. That's how it's going to be. There. And now that they're going to start paying some of these guys, just wait. It's, it's going to allow them to be even more restrictive on their private lives. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're paying you. You don't need to have that YouTube channel. You don't need to be doing a podcast. And some of these guys need the money. Mm-hmm. That's the other well, thing that kids. nobody's talking about is now that you're financially tied to the school. They've got you. Yep. They've got you. For because now it's not just your professional career ahead of you that you have to worry about. It's your financial stability right now. Mm-hmm. So if you're not willing to kowtow to these guys that are gracious enough to break you off a piece of your own money, mm-hmm. I mean, who generates the revenue? Is it the school or is it the players? Exactly. Can't have asses in seats if you don't have players winning the games. Yep. Right. So and every time you see someone who doesn't want things to change, it's because the system currently benefits them the most mm-hmm. every single time. That's a guarantee. It's just human nature. Well, why do things need to change? I'm sitting here on top, and it's great. That's what I'm and saying. What, what I think this is uh, me off as a fan of college football and a fan of college sports overall is that, guess what? Baseball has the Omaha system, right? Mm-hmm. You have March Madness with basketball. Okay. Mm-hmm. You you have uh, a Frozen Four tournament with hockey. Yep. You I know, didn't even include I'm the never going to shy away from 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 doing that. There is a Frozen Four tournament with hockey, mm-hmm. um, and it's not just four teams. Yep. No. And and that's the smallest of the college sports. There's lacrosse tournament for college lacrosse. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. Let's not forget women's college basketball. College NCAA has the ability. They have the ability and they have systems in place already from other sports that they could mirror off of easily, but they don't want to. Nope. Cause they're sitting on top. And I think that's why these we numbers that. say it all. Oh, this yeah. is mind blowing to me. I mean, when you see it on paper like that, 3.1% of teams that says it all, you mm-hmm. can't numbers. Don't lie. You look at all that, that whole list. It's not even close. There's not even another major league that's below double digits. Mm -hmm. And they're at 3.1%. I mean, that literally just... just You can't forget when you see it in black and white like that. Mm -hmm. That's what's crazy about it. And we're not going to let them forget it. Oh, no, we're not. Because you know why? We're not going to let them forget it. How are we not going to let them forget it? Tell me. You know how we're not going to let them forget it? Because... I have decided to create a shirt to make sure that people not only know, but can also support boycotting the college football playoff hashtag down with CFP because we are done. The college football playoff is garbage. We need a change. 
We need real change. We need this playoff expanded. We need teams to actually have a shot. We need college football. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost, or I can't believe I almost said that. I can't make say we got to make college football great again. That's horrible. But we do need to make college football great again because it has not been great in a long time just because the powers that be do not want to allow it to be that way. So, fight them. Let's fight back. Buy the shirt, help support us in our fight against the college football playoff because we're being real. We're hoping this can actually get to somebody and we can maybe try to enact some kind of change, get some some kind of grassroots following, something to try and help get this changed, not only for these athletes that are stuck into this position, but for these fans that get screwed over year after year, having to sit on the sideline. I feel bad for Cincinnati Bearcat fans. I truly feel bad for you guys. You guys had a great season. You went undefeated. Notre Dame just hired your defensive coordinator for the same position. You guys are legit, and you got screwed. Just like Coastal Carolina. They should doesn't matter if they lost their bowl game. They should have had a shot. They were undefeated. And they beat BYU on short notice. Who does that? So, I mean. <laughs> That's not know. an easy thing to do. And no. they should have at least been given their shot. Yeah. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, who cares Remember about the last what time a, a team was given a shot? Oh, it was, oh, Boise State. And they went and beat Oklahoma in a bowl game. In the Fiesta Bowl. In the Fiesta Bowl. In which, double overtime. Which we don't need to say Sorry. We don't even need to say it the Fiesta Bowl because who gives a shit if it's a Fiesta Bowl? Yeah, That's who just cares? Another they beat them either way. They beat them. They were given a shot and they beat them. So Absolutely. yeah, I'm I'm with you on this a hundred percent. And talk about a missed opportunity. Every league in sports has taken a different approach this year. Mm-hmm. They've used this year the 2020, the BS of oh it's just 2020 to test some things out. And they did nothing. Yeah. We other look- teams, other leagues did a bunch of different things for mm-hmm. protocols. Not so much the NFL, but they, you know, they put in a lot of protocols and safety and, yeah. you know, virtual meetings and virtual practices to kind of try to help. They did at least something. College football didn't do squat. No, and they never did. They had the That's opportunity to try something. They, yep. they had a chance to say, right. you know what? Because of 2020 and the teams not playing all the teams and not having to play 10-plus games, let's do an expanded playoffs. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, didn't nope. even consider it. Didn't even consider it. And that's what's absolutely disgusting. And they had a free pass. Well, you a know, free pass. Yeah. Any yeah, free changes pass. they made this year, they could have said, well, it, it's 2020 coronavirus. Mm-hmm. any literally any change if they said all oh, the players aren't playing without helmets because they're going to need to wear face masks or <laughs> people would have had to go with it because that's just what it was 2020 was the craziest year we've had it is. in a minute maybe a minute and a half <laughs> and for them to not that is such a good point like we literally would have let you get away with anything and what do you do maintain Nothing. the status quo mm-hmm yep. Could have been a year of great growth. But, again, help us in our fight to boycott the college football playoff. Again, you can get the shirt on our website, podcastcity.net. My goodness, I can't even English right now. I'm just so upset with NCAA football. Don't worry, man. We got you. We got you. Because you know what? Anytime you wear that shirt. (laughs) Go ahead, Jimmy. Anytime you wear that shirt in public, hit it up on the social media. Yes. Tag it. Absolutely. Hit it up. On that Facebook page, get the word out because we're not going to see change. Obviously, like George just said, they had every chance to change it this year and nothing happened. So it's going to come down to the fans getting the word out there. If somebody goes, well, why? Why would you want to stop the college playoffs? I I love the uh, Toyota Corolla Bowl or whatever. (laughs) Show them those numbers. That was the Too Fast, Just, Too Fury. <laughs> show them those numbers. Because yes. for me, the, seeing seeing this, hearing that rant, I might get a clip of the rant. And when somebody asks me about the shirt, go, here's Chris. <laughs> and now to Chris. You got a couple minutes? And, you know, I might even carry a little mic around in my back pocket. And when the clip's over, Boom. Just drop it. You got to you gotta get the word out there. Nobody, yes. unless we start making some noise, we're not going to get the product that we, the fans, deserve. Absolutely. We're, Absolutely. we're the ones paying for the tickets, buying the merch. We're the ones supporting these teams. 
the fans, and the players. Let's go. The players aren't in a position to change anything. They're beholden to the league that gives them all their opportunities. But the fans can support the players and give more guys an opportunity to shine. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. So definitely join us in our fight because this is we're going to probably make this go viral as much as we can. This segment probably will get clipped and released on its own, but definitely make sure to come support it. All you got to do, go buy the college football, boycott the college football playoff t-shirt, available now, podcastcity.net backslash shop, it's available now, uh, and let's take this thing down. Let's make true change happen, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Cassidy Network.